coaching processes are about how a coach interacts with an athlete to identify their needs and develop and enhance their skills. This program will highlight three aspects of coaching processes. Coaches need to consider and adapt to the individual needs of the athletes they are coaching. When trying to meet the needs of an individual athlete, some of the things I might take into account include age, ability, stage of development, gender or culture. One of the girls in my squad has recently come back from injury, so I've modified her program to suit her. OK, girls, let's jump up on the beam for complex. George, you're going to come around the front today and do on the white line, please. Strong takeoff. I'm a bit scared of hurting my ankle again, so I'm glad my coach said to practice on the floor. Problem-solving activities, combined with questioning, are an important tool for coaches to assist athlete learning. I use problem solving activities in training because it's more realistic to what happens during the pressure of a game and asking good questions allows the athletes to think for themselves. Okay guys, we're going to move into a problem solving drill now. It's going to involve two defenders having to make decisions based on what the ball carrier is doing. Okay, so we're going to start the attacker with the ball. He will come forward, make a pass to his teammate you defenders again have to make decisions on who to mark. Okay, away we go. Good, well done. Jog it in again, we'll just have a quick chat about it. Okay, just for the defenders, why did you guys choose to go, both go to the ball carrier? He seemed to be like the most dangerous player at the time. And what happened when he was able to get a pass away to his teammate? He was free because both of us were eliminated. So how do we determine who best to mark then? Uh, it's the closest player depending on what line the attacker runs on. Great, exactly. And, and what's going to help us make these decisions out there? More communication and talk. Okay, let's try it again. Away we go. Okay, Elliot. I like these kind of activities because it makes me think and prepares me for what might happen during the game. Coaches need to be skilled communicators to instruct as well as to provide advice. When I'm giving instructions to athletes, I want to make sure I'm clear and I'm not giving too much information all at once. I give feedback to the group and individually as often as I can. Okay guys, before we go out, I want to do some tap and roll exercises. Focus is going to be on a good body position, strong tap out, getting the hands away together. When you're ready, and run. Okay, I want a bit more focus on that strong tap down and that hands away together. Mac, if I can get you into a bit better of body position, sitting up nice and tall. Let's try that again. When you're ready. Are you ready? And run. Okay, that was good. Let's go out now. I don't like it when our coach overloads me with too much information. It's better when he keeps it simple and just lets me know how I'm going. Coaches play a vital role in helping athletes to learn, develop and improve. Coaches should ensure that they take into account the individual needs of the athletes. They should also encourage athletes to learn through challenging activities and use questions to promote thinking. Coaches need to be effective at providing instructions and feedback to athletes. Ask yourself these questions. How do you meet the individual needs of the athletes? How can you use problem solving and questioning in your training sessions? How do you give instructions and feedback?